So we've just had the US Grand Prix sprint race and well it was Max Verstappen getting back to winning ways. As we know Rebel have struggled and have not won since June and the last few races especially the car has looked a bit all over the place. But in Austin it seems the team have turned a corner, you know they've bought a few upgrades to the car and Max Verstappen has looked solid since practice. And in the sprint race he just controlled it and while there aren't a lot of points on offer for a sprint, taking a couple over Lando Norris is key for him as he looks to stay ahead in the driver's standings. And speaking about it, Max said, It feels a bit like old times. I'm very happy with today. If you look at the whole race, Ferrari was also very quick. For us, finally, we're racing again. Normally, we're always looking behind us, but now we can just do our own race, so we had good pace. Now, it wasn't a good sprint for his rival Norris. I mean, it started really well, with him moving up from 4th to 2nd and applying pressure to Verstappen at several stages during the race. But the last few laps he fell away, but he fell into the sights of Ferrari, who also looked pretty decent around this track, and on the last lap, Norris went deep into Turn 1 and locked up, which allowed Carlos Sainz to go through, and it meant he finished P3, and speaking about it, Norris said, It was a tough one. I thought I could hang on to second, but Carlos did a good job. My front tyres were completely finished, so there wasn't a lot I could do. Disappointing in, but I'm happy with the race result and a good amount of points. Now there was an incident at the end of the race between Norris and Charles Leclerc. Basically Norris ran wide at turn 12 and Leclerc looked to go down the inside at turn 15 but nearly collected the McLaren driver. Basically Norris went so tight on the inside to defend as Leclerc went for a move and Leclerc said Lando moved under braking. And commenting on it, Martin Brundle said Lando went really tight into the apex of the two left-handers and nearly paid a very heavy penalty for that. He braked extremely early, wanted to cover the inside line, so reduced speed to do that and almost caught Leclerc out. It was pretty unorthodox to do that. Now the stewards did investigate this, but have found no evidence of any alleged erratic driving from Lando on the last lap. The stewards said, There did not appear to be any significant changes of direction under braking, and the move at turn 15 was a legitimate defending move by the driver of car 4 Norris. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care. Bye.